In this part two of my How to Choose a Tripod series, I'm gonna show you which tripods I use and tell you why. And I'll show you what I think is the best tripod ball head ever made. Stay tuned. Hey gang, my name is Joe Edelman and my mission is to help photographers like you to develop a solid understanding of the hows and whys behind great photography so that you can achieve your goals as a photographer. Hopefully you watched part one of this set and you're up to speed on all of your tripod terminology. Now I need to start with an admission. For much of my career, I used the wrong tripod. Actually, I avoided tripods as much as possible. And when I did buy tripods, I usually went cheap because I didn't feel that they were that important. Boy, was I wrong. A few months back, I decided that it was time to grow up and not only get a real tripod, but to take a good look at ball heads. I always had the attitude that ball heads sucked, mainly because I only ever tried cheap ones that wouldn't support the weight of my heavy Nikon cameras. And because every time I loosened the control knob, my camera would just flop to the side. I was looking to purchase a tripod, a new monopod, and a smaller travel tripod. I started my search with a tripod. I knew that I wanted something that was reasonably priced. Now I knew this was not gonna be a $100 tripod purchase, but I still didn't wanna throw away money. I wanted a tripod that was as light as possible, but still very sturdy. So carbon fiber was the likely choice for the common material. I wanted to use lever locks on the leg, and I prefer three sections over four. Both of these features make for quicker setup and tear down. I wanted the tripod to be able to bring my camera to eye level and I knew that I didn't need a head on the tripod because I had my eyes on a very special ball head. Just like cameras, there are a few big players in the tripod space and a bunch of smaller ones. There are some companies like Manfrotto who have a lot of cool options and many that are overpriced. And then there are companies like Benro who have a smaller product line with less razzle dazzle and gimmicks at more reasonable prices. I went with Benro and their Adventure 2 series carbon fiber tripod. This is a $250 tripod that weighs just three pounds, but it can handle up to 26 and one half pounds of gear, which means that I can mount my camera and a Tether Tools rock solid crossbar arm with a Tether Table Arrow and my laptop all on top of this tripod. The Benro Adventure Series 2 collapses to 24.2 inches and extends all the way to 63.8 inches, which with my new ball head is more than enough to bring the total height to just above eye level. This is a three section leg with lever locks and the real bonus, Benro provides a three year warranty that you can extend to five years if you register your warranty online. The tripod does come with a carrying case and a shoulder strap, as well as replaceable leg tips to switch from rubber pads to spikes for outdoor shooting. Oh, and I almost forgot, the Adventure Series 2 does allow you to reverse the center column to get your camera as close to the ground as possible. And it has a hook on the base of the center column that will allow you to hang a weight or even your camera bag to give the tripod even more stability. I wanted versatility and lots of it. For stills, I was looking for a lightweight monopod that would allow me to attach a high-end ball head. For video use, I wanted to be able to attach a fluid head with a pan handle, and I also wanted feet that would allow the monopod to be freestanding. My solution was the Benro Aluminum 3 Series Flip Lock Video Monopod Kit with a detachable base that has three folding feet and it ships with a Benro S2 video head. This monopod collapses to 24.1 inches and extends to 64.2 inches. It is a four section monopod with lever locks that weighs just 2.89 pounds and also comes with a carrying case. This $150 monopod gives me the versatility of using a lightweight video camera and microphone and being able to do pans and tilts with a fluid head. And then I can remove the fluid head and attach a high-end ball head to the 3 8 inch top and have a full featured monopod for still shooting. Now I wanted a small and lightweight tripod to travel with that could also double as a monopod. At $119, the Benro Slim is a super light carbon fiber 2.2 pound travel tripod that folds to 15.7 inches, which will fit in your carry-on luggage and extends to a full 57.6 inches. Able to support a camera up to 8.8 .8 pounds, the Benro Slim, like the larger Adventure 2 series, 
also has three leg positions for each of its four section twist lock legs. The shoulder includes a bubble head and the ball head has an Arca Swiss type quick release. Also like the bigger Adventure Series tripod, you can reverse the center column to get your camera low to the ground. One of the great features to this tripod, if you need to travel light and prefer a monopod because you don't always want to use a tripod, but you sometimes fear that you'll need a tripod, just use this with the legs extended but closed together. It still has a very small footprint and it's super light and portable. Benro has been in the tripod business for over 20 years and they're a major player in the tripod market internationally. I love the simple and easy to use design of all three of these pieces. The Benro gear is really well built and honestly looks as elegant as a tripod or monopod can possibly look. The Benro gear is very reasonably priced, not the cheapest on the market and definitely not the most expensive. You get quality gear with usable features for a fair price. I chose two ball heads made by Acrotech. Who is Acrotech? Acrotech is a California-based, family-run maker of ball heads and other tripod accessories. Now, these are not your run-of-the-mill ball heads. In 1999, Acrotech was a machining company that did work for customers in the aerospace, automotive, and medical industries. Acrotech's founder and CEO, Scott Dordick, is also an avid photographer. He fabricated the prototype for his own use because no one was making a ball head specifically for outdoor use. His ideal ball head needed to be light enough for backpacking, strong enough to hold a large format camera, and rugged enough to work smoothly regardless of the elements in the mountains, deserts, or ocean. Scott's mechanical abilities, fueled by his passion for photography, led to the Acrotech products that in my opinion are top of the line in quality, form, and functionality. My first choice was the Acrotech GP ball head. Huh, this is one sexy ball head, mainly because of its unconventional design that combines functions like a ball head, panoramic head, and a gimbal head. The Acrotech GP ball head has a super smooth ball motion at all load levels, and it's equally capable as an upside down head for shooting level panoramas. The machining on this is impeccable. It weighs just 0.95 pounds, yet it supports a camera up to 25 pounds. And it's available with an Arca Swiss style knob like you see here, or a locking lever quick release clamp. This ball head comes in at about 4.1 inches tall and has an adjustable pan control and tension control and also a built-in spirit level. To top it all, it is ideal for inclement weather and rough travel because the open structure lets moisture, dirt, and debris fall through instead of getting trapped inside a socket like most ball heads. I find this to be a truly innovative and incredibly well-designed precision product that is awesome for professional and advanced amateur photographers. It has a very real price tag of $399.95. But in my opinion, when you factor in the quality build and all of the features that I've mentioned, and the fact that it is backed by a 10 year warranty, it is worth every penny. For my monopod head, I went with Acrotech's Nomad Ball Head. Machined from aircraft quality aluminum and stainless steel, the Nomad Ball Head can also function as a gimbal head, just like the GP Ball Head. But unlike the GP, the Nomad ball head requires a separate leveling base if you want to do stitched panoramic images. So if panoramas are not in your future, this is the ball head for you. The Nomad weighs just 0.9 pounds and sits 3.74 inches tall while being able to support up to 25 pounds of gear. The Nomad sells for $199.95 and also comes with a full 10 year warranty. Now I wanted to point out one of my favorite features of these Acrotech ball heads. Most ball heads have one knob. If you loosen the knob, your camera flops. The Acrotech heads have a tension control that prevents this from happening. To set it up, you simply loosen your main knob all the way. Then adjust the tension knob to the desired amount and leave it. Now your camera and lens aren't going to flop if you're not holding them carefully when you loosen the main knob. All of which gives you more control and a smoother ball head experience. I know a lot of you are thinking, hey, I could buy a new lens for the cost of the tripod and ball head that Joe just described. You're right, you could. But let me tell you from experience that was learned the hard way and from wasting money on cheap gear, a quality tripod and ball head 
should be a part of the foundation of every photographer's gear. And if you go with quality gear, it will last much longer than the camera and lens that you're putting on it. It doesn't matter if you're a street shooter, a portrait shooter, a wedding shooter, a travel photographer, or if you photograph children. Tripods make your work better when used properly. They slow you down in all the right ways. They provide support that frees your hands and support that allows you to do things from a technique standpoint that you couldn't do handheld. And if you listen to the teenage version of me that I talked about in the first video, they make you look cool. So there you have it, gang. My choices of tripod and tripod heads and a lot of info about tripod features to help you make better buying decisions and hopefully to convince you that you should be using tripods more often than you probably are. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos. And until next time, go pick up that camera and shoot something because your best shot, <laughs> it's your next shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios.